sorry for pulling it in there. A lazy morning, put the quails out, enjoying some some grass time. I'm gonna go into the shade. It's a bit a bit bright. That's better. Put the quails out, enjoying some some outside time. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. Marley checking them out. Marley. It's very cute. Quails doing quietly things. Um, I'm gonna. I'm a bit late for garlic now. It's taken me too long to replant, so I'm going to plant onion instead. I quite like onions, so that would be really nice. And um, I was thinking about transferring some plants into bigger pots, but we'll see how we go. So I was just having a look at my garlic. Turns out it hasn't all been eaten, so it's good. Good. I'm very, very happy. See? I've got one shoot, two shoot, and three shoots. Which is really, really good. I'm super happy. And so one look. So that's, that's really good. I'm gonna um, get some more hay for them and make sure there's no weeds. Last time I grew garlic, they, they don't tolerate weeds well, so I didn't get a good outcome. So, um, I'll, I'll make an effort to, to keep the weeds out this time with my three little garlics.
since I'm hovering around the pumpkin vine, letting the quails do their thing, pick all the, the bugs off and, and dig up the dirt and stuff, they, um, I thought I'll check it out and see how the pumpkins are growing. I know I've got one growing, which is very small at the moment. It's just here, yeah, little baby pumpkins. There's plenty, plenty more flowers though. So, you know. I have high hopes that I'll get good pumpkins. Um, I don't know, we'll see how we go. It's completely the wrong season. But, that's how I roll. Quails are having fun. Hey Dad, what are you doing? Well earned coffee break. Didn't actually do much. Just watered the plants while the quails were packing at bugs and stuff. So yeah, I'll have a coffee. Be productive. I'm actually really happy about my garlic. I was um I honestly thought it all got eaten. But I got three left, which is great. I'm gonna put my onion anyway. And I got some cauliflower, so I need to find somewhere for that. I have a mild snail problem, so I'm a bit nervous about where to plant that. So, but I might net it. I might chuck it in with um, a sweet potato and, and net it. So, hopefully it doesn't get smashed. My ginger is dying back for winter, so I'll be repotting that soon. Which, which will be cool. I haven't pulled it out of the ground since I planted it. Was it like two years ago, a year and a half ago? So it, it'll be nice to see how much it's grown. It's definitely grown. I've um, It's like making the pot a funny shape, so... It's definitely growing. <laughs> It'll be nice. Finish my coffee. It's always really distracted. I thought I'd get a little Matthew out before I start doing some work. Here's my little baby cakes. Which is good. He's um, actually really placid. When I first got Jessie, she was an absolute psychopath and um, took a lot of handling to get her to a state of um, 
normalness where this little guy I got from a friend and um the same reason I got Jesse too aggressive but um he is honestly like he came around so fast he's super placid and really nice he's such a cute little boy he's growing really really quickly I'm gonna be um booking them at the vet soon get a their um the checkup, I like to do a yearly checkup before winter to make sure um, they're good because um, I follow the seasons with their enclosures so um, they go into the, the hibernation so um, when they're this little I will um, keep them a fair bit warmer than I would but like Jesse for example I don't modify enclosure too much the hot end I will insulated a bit more so it's hotter but um all in all I, I like them I I adjust the light accordingly I, I set it to the sun and um I update it every couple weeks as the seasons change so um so they're, they're always up to date with what the weather's doing so um they hibernate We'll do whatever snakes do. Jessie likes to try to find a boyfriend, so she um she doesn't hibernate. She just constantly moves and doesn't eat and just wants out. So um, Matthew, being a boy, I'm not sure what he's gonna do. Um, it's my first winter with him, so I'm hoping he um he does good. Hopefully it's not as stressful as it was with Jesse, but um, we'll see how we go. He's pretty good. I'm going to be feeding him and Jesse tonight. So, um, that'll be good. I might see if I can get that on recording. Which would be nice. He's a good eater. Jessie's usually a good eater, but um, she goes a bit silly when it comes winter time. So I'm gonna try to get the last couple feeds before um before she decides to stop eating, which is um a pain. Sun's finally starting to come out again. Get some some more light. They have sun, um, like you know the little bulbs that pretend they're sun. So um, I think they get all the vitamins, but I just like to make sure. So you know, I always hold them in the sun. A chance to get a tan on. I think that will do. Off of that. Um, one's a seed raising mix and the other's um, organic compost mix so I'm hoping it's not going to be too rich but I'm going to top up the garlic and prep for the, the onion. I've decided to leave the cauliflower, I think it's cauliflower, inside for now um, so it's a bit bigger and then once it's bigger um, should be okay to plant out. And the slugs will deal with that. Hopefully not too harshly. 
but um, I was going to plant it in with my sweet potato. I do have sweet potatoes growing in here, so I'm going to try to not take up too much of the space. So I was going to plant right here where Blue's standing, and there's a whole another garden bed. I'm not too worried because I've got a lot more sweet potatoes. That, that batch is um, about a year, two years old. Kind of just keeps growing and growing. My tomato is doing well. And I'll top up the garlic while I'm here too. Got a little worm. Isn't that cute? Little surprises.
So super quick. Um, I did a layer of the organic compost and then a layer of the back soil. It's, um, sheep raising mix. I think it's got like a stimulant in it, so it um helps with that. But I've planted um so I've gone compost seed mix compost seed mix I don't know just a couple of layers um I didn't really dig it in I don't want to disturb the potatoes so I don't know we'll see how we go I'm not, not the best gardener I kind of just wing it it usually takes a couple of attempts before I get the hang of it but um it might be a bit crowded, I'm not sure. I didn't plant many of the seeds, so um, I'm hoping it's not too crowded, but I don't know how much sweet potatoes in there, so um, yeah, I'll just pop the last of the hay in there, keep um, keep the weeds down, because it's just grass. So much grass, people are like grass, it's great. I'm like, I fucking hate it. Hey, grass. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'm gonna chuck a net over it or something, cause um, the dogs want the the hay, cause it's full of quail poop. It's disgusting, but I don't want them ripping up my um my veggies and stuff, and I can't find my net. So I've got a little bit of wire laying around from um from the fence I've made, well made um dog proofed <laughs> so um should be good got my little little snail friend slug the reason I have so much trouble in my garden but it was it's good as um there's lots of lizards around so I don't I don't mind the snails because you know I get lizards which is cute so I've just put some metal grate down and I've held it in place with a random pole I found. So um, it holds pretty tight, like if they wanted to have a decent crack at it, it wouldn't hold, but um, they're not really that pushy, so it, it'll it do, so just the job, hopefully I'll have some some onion, the garlic is is happy. I'll give that a feed tomorrow. I watered most of the plants. They're a bit sad because I've been working so much, so I haven't had a chance to haven't had a chance to water them like I usually do. So um, I'm going to give them all another water tomorrow, and hopefully they perk back up a bit. And um, I give the garlic and onion a really good dose of um, some fertilizers, and um, yeah, it should be good. Next thing on my list, this monstrosity over here. I will. Um, I don't plan on doing much. I just want to pull out the weeds and grass. Pull out the grass. I don't get weeds. I get grass. I lie, I do get weeds, but um, most of them I don't mind. I mean, um, the the dandelions at the front, they're they're actually really good for you, and they help enrich the soil. So I I don't mind them at all. And then I've got um, I call them farmers friends. I don't know what they're supposed to be called, but um, they're quite good as well. Apparently they um a mild like pain reliever if you make a tea with it I haven't quite tried it and I've had to get rid of all of my my weeds for the um for the cleanup but um they're slowly coming back every every plant has a use grass on the other hand apart from you know I suppose the quails love it I'm always ripping it out and chucking it in in their little home or um like today put it um 
put them free range and they can go through and peck at it and they seem more interested in the pumpkin so I cut off a couple pumpkin leaves and I'm going to chuck that in there with them so they can um yeah some pumpkin I didn't think they would like that like it's edible um I know I know we can eat it you you just, like past steam it or something so um yeah I think that's it I don't know I didn't um I felt like I had more planned on this video well the onions planted my garlic's doing good so um I think that's it it was just a lazy day for me um I'll, I'll get this pumpkin, I'll cut some more leaves off and I'll give the clouds some pumpkin. Which, um, I've already fed them so I don't think they'll be that interested, but let's see. Some pumpkin leaves, lots of pumpkin leaves. I forgot all about my carrot. <laughs> so I'm going to pop those in there. I'm gonna give them some compost. Maybe a handful or two. My carrot, it's doing pretty good. Now we've got a more handful for good luck. I don't feed as regularly as I should. So, um, the, the compost is quite handy. Ideally I'd have my own compost, but one day, one day, my three little carrots. happy to clear the spot for them so now they can get some light Very happy with my tiny little garden. It's come up really nice now that we've put um mulch down around it. It used to be pebbles and um they were like that really sharp pebbles and it was just shit. The grass would always grow through and the, the people who put the pebbles down to start with had weed mat behind it and it um Oh I'll feed this there. The the weed mat would rip up every time you um try to pull out the weeds and it was just just a hassle in general so i i did not like it at all so i'm, I'm glad it's gone the, the mulch is much better the quails love it so um yeah little jamie he's so inquisitive he's like oh why are you? What are you doing? Okay. They're all tucked out for the day. We'll see tomorrow.
if um, they have a go at it or not. So I'm definitely interested in it when I had them out today, so I don't know if they're pecking at it or if they're eating the bugs, but either way, um, if they don't eat it, it'll break down and I'll just add it back to the garden, so yeah. Um, I think I think that'll be a wrap. Um, yeah, very lazy day.